my great-grandfather emigrated to the United States. And he helped oil cloth companies convert to making a felt base floor covering product. One of the plants that he converted was here in Salem, New Jersey. That was the start of the John B. Campbell Manufacturing Company. In 1931, the plant burned to the ground. But the question was, could they rebuild during a depression and keep the company going? My great uncle and my grandfather took a second and third mortgages out on their own homes, and they decided to rebuild. They brought in contractors, and they said, we want you to hire our workers, which during the Depression was extremely important. Our workers, they rebuilt the plant. The real revolution for the company happened in 1936, what we called the KISS process. They automatically overnight doubled the capacity of the plant, and it was with that that the company really had solid economic underpinnings, and we were able to move forward. My father was in combat in the Pacific Rim. And when my father came back at my grandfather's strong urging, he went directly into working for the company. And he realized either you innovate or you die. My father put all bets on the table and coming up with a 12-foot wide rotogravure printing process. It really transformed Mannington because it took us from being a legitimate player in the felt-based low-end business to suddenly being a recognized leader almost overnight in the resilient category. Johnny loved Mannington. And he seems to have passed that love of Mannington on to several generations. We are family-held business, fifth generation. Less than 1% of all family-held businesses make it to the fifth generation. It's truly exceptional. My grandfather was my hero. One thing I learned early on about my grandfather was how proud he was of Mannington. And I gotta tell you, Keith is the acorn that did, did not drop far from the tree. I mean, he is, he is very much in his dad's mold. Both of them, their heart and soul is this company. Every time I'm out in the plant, every time I'm with our Mannington Associates, it just puts a big smile on my face because we have fabulous, dedicated people and they're good at what they do. They're good at what they do. Probably the most challenging decade for styling and design at Mannington had to have been the 1970s. There's not a lot you can do with avocado and gold. this special edition of The Tonight Show. And now, here's Johnny. Thank you, Ed. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to a returning sponsor on The Tonight Show, somebody that you know very well. I know them quite well. Mannington Mills. There are plenty of colors and styles. Pick your favorite, take it home, and install it. It's easy. Mannington Never Wax has a built-in shine that never needs strippers or polishes to stay... Oh, you dirty son of... History is about good events, and it's also about bad events. We had a sheet vinyl product called Mannington Gold and spent an enormous amount of money to launch it, and it failed. The largest product failure in the history of the flooring industry. This was a truly threatening product. I mean, we, we had potential claims against us of about 150 to 160 million. You know, the future of Mannington was certainly in question. 
At Mannington, when we face difficulties, we lock arms and we get together and we go after whatever the problem may be. And the rebound uh, was something that probably should be written up and put in the Harvard Business Review. If you lived through that time, you knew and you still know today that Mannington is, is a company of integrity and is a company that will you know, stand behind its, its promises. And that, that carries a tremendous amount of equity to this day. You know, with 100 years of uh, making and manufacturing product, you can't be around for that long without pushing some innovations. One of the things that's been unique about Mannington and doesn't necessarily come across immediately as an innovation, but really sets us apart, is our breadth. And really being an innovator in the way we took multiple categories to market, something now that almost every major flooring company has emulated. The creation of Mannington Commercial is a big milestone. As part of us coming out of Mannington Gold, we redefined the company. We were coming out of the recession of 2008, and here this opportunity came up to buy MTCO. There were a lot of sleepless nights trying to decide if it was the right thing. It was a bold step into the future for Mannington. It is not my daddy's little vinyl company any longer. It's a big company with factory locations throughout the world, multiple sales locations, warehouses, etc. And in fact, we're, as we speak, looking at what's the next thing we can do to differentiate ourselves. We're going to continue to grow this company. We have to keep moving forward if we're going to stay relevant in this industry for another century. You know, it's really unusual for, for a company to make it through 100 years and so many generations. And I think one of the reasons why they've been able to do that is that they have been able from generation to generation to pass on this tremendous family value set they have. Uh, and it starts with caring for people. Our company has gone through recessions. We've had tough years. We've had great years. We've always made that a priority. Um, treating people the right way, being very fair during tough times, and that's something that I cherish and I'm proud of, that, that we can continue this legacy in a way that JBC is, is looking down and would be smiling about.